All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Puppeter and we can automate the Chromium browser. So you can find these docs on github.com Puppeter slash Puppeter. So if you are not aware what Puppeter is, so Puppeter is a Node.js library which provides a high level API to control Chrome or Chromium browser over the DevTools protocol. So very first thing that would you would require is you would require Node.js on your system. So you can make sure that Node.js is installed by typing Node minus V. So if this prints the version, it means that Node.js is installed. So to install the Puppeter, we are going to say npm install Puppeter. So first we need to initialize a new project. So I'm going to say npm init minus Y. So this will create a packet.json file as you can see over here. So this packet.json file will basically contain the metadata of our project like name, version, description and rest of the stuff. And to install the Puppeter, we are going to paste that command that we copied earlier that is npm install Puppeter. So this will install the Puppeter dependency in the node underscore modules directory. It will also download the Chromium browser that is compatible with this version of Puppeter. So if you are new to Puppeter, you need to make sure that whatever the version of Chromium that you are trying to automate is actually compatible with the Puppeter version. Otherwise, you will experience some issues while automation. So once the package is installed, you will see a new entry in the package.json file of dependencies and in dependencies, you will see Puppeter being added as a dependency and the version is 5.5.0. Let's clear up the console and create a new script. Let's name it as index.js. So very first thing that we would require is to import the Puppeter library. So we will say const Puppeter equal to require Puppeter and close in a single or double quotes based on your preference. Then we are going to create a ify function. So to create a function, you first create two round brackets like this and within the first round bracket you are going to create a new anonymous async function so this async function will allow us to use await commands if we omit this async keyword then the library would throw error that you cannot use the await command without async block so the first thing that we need to do is we need to create an instance of browser so we will say const browser equal to await Puppeter dot launch so this will launch a new browser so once a new browser is launched we need to create new page so we will say const page equal to browser dot new page okay so again we need to have a await command here so once this command is run we wait for the new page to be opened by Puppeter so once that is done we can say page dot go to and in this we need to specify where we want to navigate https google.com and again make sure you have a wait command so that we wait for the navigation to complete so once the navigation is complete we are going to take the screenshot so we will say await page dot screenshot and in this screenshot if you hover over this it takes an option so in the options we are going to pass the path and we will say google.png so this is the screenshot that is going to be saved in the root and so once the screenshot is taken so we can say await browser dot close so this will close the browser that it opened so let's give it a try let's save the file and they and say node index.js so by default Puppeter will launch the browser in headless mode and use and you will see nothing on the screen. However, if you see in the Explorer, there is a screenshot that was captured by Puppeter and this is a screenshot of Google homepage. To open a physical browser, we can pass option in the launch method and we can say headless false. So this will launch the physical browser so let's save the file restart the script as you can see a browser was opened and again same screenshot was taken so it will override the previous one so that was pretty fast so let's slow down the thing to slow down we will say slow mo and in the slow mo we can say we need to slow down every action by one second so we will say 1000 milliseconds so 1000 milliseconds is equal to one second so let's give it a try 
so after each and every step puppeteer will take a pause of one second as you can see it opened the browser then created a new page and it took a pause of one second then it navigated to google.com now it's taking a screenshot and script closed so that is how guys you can create a new project and install the puppeter if you enjoyed this video please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so you get the notification whenever i post a new video see you in next one